Hi, I'm Ross Jane with Boris FX. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve screen replacement in Avid Media Composer using the Mocha Pro AVX plugin. Replacing screens has become a common task in post, but reflections in motion can throw off most trackers. Media Composer has a tracking panel for motion tracking shots. However, there are a couple issues that make it hard to use successfully on difficult shots. This tracker can only track forwards, so to track this clip, we need to reverse the motion with a time warp. Also, the Media Composer tracker is a point tracker, meaning that the tracker is only looking at a small pixel pattern. So when a screen has reflections or blurred pixels, the tracker will often fail. Here we can see the lower point trackers drift off and lose the track. Now let's try the same shot using the Mocha Pro AVX plugin. I'll find Mocha Pro in the effects palette and drag it to my clip on Video Track 2. We select the button and launch the Mocha custom interface. Let's go to the end of the clip and set up our tracking layer. Mocha uses X splines to define what we are tracking. We want to track the surface of the screen and Mocha's planar tracking has the ability to look at all these pixels at the same time. Reflections are almost always moving opposite to what we are tracking and will throw off a track. So we will select the Add to X Spline button and create a second spline shape. This will focus the planar tracker on the edges of the laptop and avoid the reflections. Under the tracking parameters, we will turn on perspective to capture all motion increase the percentage of pixels used to ensure the best tracking result. The surface tool is an essential thing to learn. It represents the four corners that we are ultimately going to use to drive the screen replace. The grid tool is simply an on-screen guide to help align our surface. Both these tools can be toggled on and off. Here we can see how that second X-spline shape layer subtracts from the first to avoid the reflections. By defining the search area, Mocha's planar tracking will only look at the plane of the laptop's edges and nothing else. Now we'll track backwards. Mocha's planar tracking engine uses GPU for speed and typically does a great job on these types of shots. Notice how we can get through the difficult part of the clip. Once the screen is fully hidden, we'll stop and mark an in on our layer properties. Now we'll review the track back and forth to look for any drifts or bad motion. We can insert a grid under the Layer Properties tab to better see our results. While it's looking quite good, there are some small areas that I'd like to fix on the lower corners as they drift. The Adjust Track module is designed as a secondary level of keyframes to fix tracking bumps and drifts. The user defines a master frame and can add subtle corrections that are interpolated into the original track. This is much quicker than manually keyframing bad tracks. In the Insert module, we can change various properties of our inserted clip. Let's animate the opacity as the screen turns to make this a little more realistic. By leaving our final opacity at 65%, we can retain some of these reflections for a realistic composite. Now we'll save and go back to Media Composer. On the bottom video track 1, I have a basic screen type animation clip. The power of doing my tracking inside of Media Composer, instead of sending it off to After Effects or a Flame Artist, is that I can quickly make edit decisions in context to our final shot. Back inside the Mocha Layer Properties, we can choose the Video Layer as our insert, 
which will channel the V1 from Media Composer back into our insert layer. We can preview this inside of Mocha and choose Motion Blur under the Insert tab for realistic motion blur rendering. The Mocha Pro plugin has the ability to render screen inserts, stabilization, and object removal back to Media Composer. In the plugin interface, we'll choose to render the composite for our final edit. For fun, I thought it would be interesting to show how any editing we do on Video Track 1 will be displayed on our screen insert. For example, we could dissolve to black, or for something more interesting, I ended up using the Sapphire Transition Builder to create a screen power off effect. The power of the Transition Builder is you can combine many effects inside one Avid Transition. Here the outgoing shot has an animated transform, glow, and lens flare and various effects all in the one effect. Sapphire Transitions Builder is a really powerful tool. This is a quick example of how to use Mocha Pro inside of Avid Media Composer for screen replacements and advanced tracking. And finally to mention, another great aspect of using Mocha Pro is for its ability to export masking and tracking data to almost any host system. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find us online at borisfx.com for lots more training and video tutorials.